tell me your name and your title? Eric George, Associate Counsel, Connecticut Business and Industry Association. Eric, why don't you tell me just briefly why do you support uh, reform and not the government takeover? No, we, re we support reform because our members and everyone in the country are drowning under health care costs. And everyone in the country is also suffering from impaired quality. And there are those in this country and those in this state that don't have access to insurance. They all have access to care, but they don't have access to insurance. Those are core problems that need to be fixed, and it's an economic issue. It's an economic development issue. We don't support the public option because the government, quite frankly, hasn't shown the track record to warrant granting them that authority. We have seen them underfund their public programs to such an extent that the cost shift has made private insurance less and less affordable, completely unaffordable in some cases. So what we think, we, we know what needs to happen is that we need to lower costs, we need to improve quality, and that's how we're going to get more people insured. You took my second question already, Sorry. but so um, uh, one reason or what's the rationale, dig a little deeper on why, why the government shouldn't be running the health care system. Well, aside from their very bad track record in this area, if the government did run the system, let's take a look at what would happen. Right now, you have underfunded public programs, but you do have the backstop of the private sector to pick up a portion of those costs for hospitals. So the hospitals, if they get paid 65 cents on the dollar by the government, they're paying, they're charging their private uh, payers dollar and twenty to a dollar and thirty cents on the dollar. If the government takes over the system, if the private sector is slowly removed from that formula then the doctors and the hospitals and all of the providers will have one single source of payment and that will be the government under a single payer system and under that system we know it will be underfunded <laughs> both the state and the uh, the federal government has proven this by their track record that they do not fund these programs fully so that is a problem and the long-lasting devastation it would cause would be tremendous. And if we look at the impact that's going to have on Connecticut, let's look at the insurance industry in Connecticut and the economic driver that it is. I mean, we've just seen in the governor's strategic plan that the insurance industry is a significant economic force. They employ nearly 250,000 people under 9,800 9, plus establishments establishments and this adds 9.8 billion dollars to Connecticut's payrolls. This industry is only going to grow as our population ages. So if we take steps, if the state or the federal government takes steps to destroy that industry, we need to understand that that will have a long-lasting and devastating impact to our economy nationally and by the state.